The best things to do in Nice includes top attractions in one of the most popular holiday destinations on the French Riviera. Nicknamed Nissa la Bella, Nice, the beautiful in the local dialect, this Mediterranean seaside city benefits from an all-year-round warm and pleasant climate. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 best things to do in Nice. And just wait till you see what's at number 2, something you may not even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So let's cut to the chase. At 10, Musée Matisse. See the works of Henri Matisse. The Musée Matisse is a museum with an extensive collection of paintings, drawings, sculptures and photographs of Henri Matisse, a prominent French Fauvist artist. The museum is found within Villa des Arènes, a 17th century villa in Simiez in Nice. Matisse and his heirs donated many works to the museum, so it's now home to 68 paintings and gauches, over 200 drawings, over 200 prints, 57 sculptures and nearly 100 photographs. You'll also see nearly 200 personal objects of the artist, including ceramics, stained glass and documents. Some of his more famous works showcased at the museum include Woman Reading, Le Bonheur de Vivre, Blue Nudes and The Desert, Harmony in Red. At 9, Jean Médecine Avenue. Shop and dine from dawn till dusk in the centre of Nice. Stretching between the Place Massena, just north of the Old Town, and Nice train station, Jean Médecine Avenue is the liveliest shopping street in the centre of Nice. It's almost 900 metre long and features wide walkways and all types of shopping venues, from small boutiques to shopping malls to department stores to supermarkets. The selection includes brand names such as H&M, Marks and & Spencer and Zara, to name a few. You'll also find many dining options here. Make sure you watch out for the tram when crossing the avenue. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? At 8, Castle Hill Park. Take a great photo of Nice and the Bay of Angels. Located just east of the Old Town, Castle Hill is the highest point in Nice. Getting to the top can be done on foot, by lift or on the little tourist train. At the top, you'll find the ruins of Nice Castle, a large artificial waterfall, a historical cemetery and a bar restaurant. Castle Hill offers the best panoramic view of the city and the Bay of Angels to the west and of the port to the east. The park is a pleasant place to stroll, especially with children, as it features dedicated playgrounds. At 7, Marc Chagall Museum. Discover Chagall's work on biblical themes. Marc Chagall Museum is not only the place that houses one of the world's largest collections of the Russian-born artist works, but it's also an unusually lively venue for a museum. It hosts a quaint bar restaurant in the garden, a hall in which you can attend live classical music concerts and a movie theatre screening movies about the life of this multifaceted artist. It's located on Dr. Menard Avenue in the centre of Nice. At 6, Mont Boron Park. Take in stunning views of the French Riviera. Mont Boron Park features 11 kilometres of hiking trail, a 1.5 kilometre exercise circuit, picnic areas, petanque pitches, in short, all you need for a grand day out. The highlight of Mont Boron Park is the 16th century Fort de Mont Alban. It offers breathtaking vistas of the port of Nice to the west, as well as the Villefranche-sur-Mer and saint jean cap ferrat peninsula to the east. It takes roughly 45 minutes of hiking to get there from Nice Old Town, but you can also get to the park by bus. At 5, Beaches of Nice. Spend the day lounging on a gorgeous beach with sparkling water. Nice has a string of gorgeous beaches right on its doorstep. Blue Beach is a private stretch of sand on the Promenade des Anglaises that's open year-round. Water sports fans can enjoy parasailing, wakeboarding and water skiing. The beach also counts with a seafood restaurant and lounge bar. Locals like to go to La Réserve, a tiny lesser-known public beach to the east of town. It's a pebble beach, so bring your swimming shoes. If you're travelling with kids, the beach of La Voilier is a great spot to spend the day. The wide, fine gravel beach has clear blue water and small waves. 
The beach is half public, half private, with the private side offering day beds, a restaurant, hot showers and a playground. At four, Nice's beautiful churches. Visit the best churches in the city. Nice's beautiful churches boast a rich history and gorgeous architecture, making them a must visit on your holiday. Many of the churches are found in Old Nice, but you'll find beautiful churches all over the city. Cathedral saint Reparat is one of the most notable in the city and was constructed in the 12th century. The St. Nicholas Russian Orthodox Cathedral is another stunning church that boasts dramatic minaret and coloured turrets in Russian architectural tradition that stand out in the city. Some other notable churches in the city include Chapelle de Saint Sepulchre in Place Gariboldi, Chapelle de Saint Sorer in Cor Salea, and Chapelle de la Misericorde in Cor Salea. At 3, Marinière Beach lays on one of the most popular beaches on the French Riviera. Located in Villefranche-sur-Mer, a 15-minute drive east of Nice, Marinière Beach, Plage de Marinière, is a very popular spot, especially from May to September. Unlike many beaches in the area, Marinière Beach is public and free to get on. The beaches in front of Nice are pebbly, but this is not the case with Marinière Beach. It's not sandy, but features very tiny pebbles, making it the next best thing. Another good point with this beach is its good choice of nearby bars and restaurants. This can be handy if you didn't bring your picnic. Oh dear, I forgot mine. Shall we go and get a glass of wine? That kind of thing. At number two, Nice Old Town. Wander around Nice's historical center. Nice Old Town, locally known as Vieux Nice, is located at the eastern end of the Bay of Angels between Albert I Garden and Castle Hill. Featuring narrow cobblestone streets, red-roofed old-style houses and notable places like the Nice Opera and Lascaris Palace, the Old Town takes you back to the 18th century. The area is famous for its palace. The Old Town takes you back to the 18th century. The area is famous for its quaint restaurants and lively night spots. During your tour, don't forget to stop by Fenocchio Glacier on 6 Rue de la Passonnerie to spoil yourself with a yummy ice cream. They're considered the best in town. And finally, at number one, Promenade des Anglais. Take a stroll along the walkway of the English. Promenade des Anglais, or Walkway of the English, stretches for around 5 kilometers along the Mediterranean coast between Nice Airport and Quai de l'Etat Uni. Attracting strollers, joggers, cyclers, inline skaters and skateboarders, this seaside walkway is lively and offers a great people-watching spot. The walkway is lined with palm trees, equipped with benches, and it features Velo Bleu stations, self-service rental bikes. You'll find a great choice of bars and restaurants right on the beach too. Sounds great. What are we waiting for? And there you have the top 10 best things to do in Nice. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. Check out more videos on France in our French travel guide playlist. That's all for now. Until next time.